Hello and welcome to this video presentation. My name is Paul Brett. I'm a senior software support analyst supporting the Transformation Extender product from IBM. The topic for this video is using the Excel adapter in an integrated ITX environment. Feel free to reach out to me on popular social media channels at Paul Brett IBM. When you call an ITX map from an integrated product, such as IBM's App Connect Enterprise, or B2BI, or even ITXA, then you are overriding the input card to stream. The original adapter would have been Excel, and therefore it will fail. Your output via Design Studio may show you a row number and then some data, whereas the same map called via Java API will show a string of binary characters, perhaps beginning with the capital letters PK. I will demonstrate a potential workaround for this. I shall start this demonstration in the IBM Transformation Extender Design Studio, where you can see I have one project called Excel Stream. In that project I have a map source file called test.mms, and within that map source file I have two maps test1 and test2. Test1 represents the traditional way of calling the Excel adapter. On the input card I specify the Excel adapter. It reads the spreadsheet from the local disk, which you can see is in my project, book1.xlsx, reads the sheet from it, and also I've got tracing turned on. In the output card I'm writing to a file called output.txt, which I also have open and it's currently empty. So if I save, build and run this map, you will note that my output shows row numbers and it shows a 1 and the data from the spreadsheet. This is some data. So what happens when we try to call this map from a product like App Connect Enterprise or Sterling Integrator or even ITXA? Well, I'm going to use example 6.java here to simulate doing that. In this piece of Java, I specify the map that I'm going to load. I specify that I'm going to override input card 1 and change it to stream. I'm going to use Java to read the spreadsheet and then send the spreadsheet in through the stream and then I'm going to run the map. However, when we do this, if we have a look at output.txt, you will note that it is now complete garbage. What we've got is the stream of data that's received rather than it going through the Excel adapter. We had to override the Excel adapter with stream, but then of course it's no longer in the picture, so it can no longer do its thing. So, how can we fix this? Well, let's just close example 6.java for the moment and switch to map test 2. In test 2, I'm using the file adapter to read XLSX, book 1. In output card number 2, I'm using a put function with the file adapter to temporarily write that data to a local file called book2.xlsx. And then in output card 2, I'm doing a get using the Excel adapter, feeding in the original items that we put in before. We're reading book2.xlsx. And then when we build and run this map, the Excel adapter is called and output card 2 writes to output.txt and will populate this file with the correct data. So if I save, build and run this map, you will note that we get 1 again and this is some data. It's read in through file here and if this is overridden with stream, it's still coming in the same way. The Excel is not invoked until output card 2. We're writing it to book2.xlsx, which you'll note has arrived in our project, and then we're reading it in the second output card, passing it through the Excel adapter and getting the correct response. So to prove this works, let's fire up example 6.java again, change the map that we're calling to test2.mmc, and then invoke this Java code before I do that, I'm going to erase what's in output and save that file. So we start with a blank and then invoke the Java 
we just finished and then when this refreshes you will note that we have the correct response so this is one way you can use the Excel adapter in an integrated environment if you would normally get the data in through an input card and instead you are streaming that data in you are going to have to temporarily put it out to a local file and then read it back in again through the Excel adapter using output cards. This can also be done with a run function. You read the card in as a stream, you put the file out to disk and then you call a run function overriding the input to be the Excel adapter and basically the map you are calling is the original test one. I hope that you found that useful. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video presentation today. If you found the content interesting and informative, please hit that like button. Perhaps leave me a comment. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as I release content such as this on a regular basis. Feel free to reach out to me on popular social media channels at Paul Brett IBM. Thank you.